Today, we'll take you on a journey into the depths of the brain. We'll explore a group of cells that could render a man as scared as a cat or as fearless as a lion. The amygdaloid complex, or amygdala, is a grouping of almond-shaped cells that is located at the end of the caudate nucleus extension of the corpus striatum. It is located inside the walls of the temporal horn of the lateral ventricle, directly adjacent and rostral to the hippocampus. The amygdala is subdivided into seven partitions. They are the basolateral, basomedial, central, cortical, hippocampal, lateral, and medial. Gray matter is the main component of the amygdala. Blood directed to the amygdala is supplied by the anterior choroidal artery, which arises from the internal carotid. The axons of the amygdala and hippocampus form the fornix and stria terminalis. The hypothalamus is connected to the amygdala by the stria terminalis and the ventral amygdala fugal pathway. The amygdala is included in the limbic system which was responsible for emotions, behavior, long-term memory, and smell. Animal studies have shown that the amygdala is particularly important for fear and survival responses. The conditioned suppression procedure involves a Pavlovian pairing of a conditioned stimulus, which is designated with a musical note, with a reversive unconditioned stimulus, such as an electric shock. It is especially useful for studying the acquisition and extinction of conditioned fear. Researchers have stimulated the amygdala's fear circuit by conditioning rats to associate an auditory signal with electric shocks in metal boxes. The researcher begins by training a rat to press a lever for food reward. Once the rat is reliably lever pressing, the researcher presents a conditioned stimulus such as a tone or light and terminates a conditioned stimulus with a brief foot shock. The amygdala quickly triggers a physiological response such as increasing heart and respiration rate in preparation for the perceived threat. Then the cortex sends information back to the amygdala about whether the threat is real. If the threat is real, the amygdala suppresses the periodontal grain, which is thought to be involved in protection and defensive reactions. The amygdala suppresses these behaviors and causes freezing. The role of the amygdala can be easily seen when comparing a normal mouse's reaction with an amygdala lesion mouse. In an amygdala lesion mouse, the fear response is no longer seen. The amygdala has recently been shown to be more activated in individuals with bipolar disorder, a finding that may help improve bipolar disorder diagnosis. To understand this, we must first understand what bipolar disorder is. Bipolar disorder is a brain disorder that causes severe shifts in mood, energy, and activity levels. Symptoms of bipolar disorder are experienced in two distinct periods, the manic phase and the depressed phase. These episodes alternate in a cyclical manner over the course of the individual's lifetime and are different from everyday ups and downs. Interestingly, children with a parent or sibling who has bipolar disorder are four to six times more likely to develop the illness. Symptoms of the manic episodes include prolonged periods of euphoric feelings, extreme irritability, restlessness, sleep deprivation, and making overly impulsive decisions. Meanwhile, symptoms of the depressive episodes include prolonged periods of worried feelings, loss of interest in hobbies, fatigue, concentration problems, excessive sleeping, and suicidal thoughts. Because depressive episodes of bipolar disorder share many symptoms with major depressive disorder, such as difficulties in emotion processing and poor social function, bipolar disorder is commonly misdiagnosed as major depressive disorder. Thus, the amygdala is a key region implicated in processing emotionally salient stimuli, including emotional facial expressions. Activity of the amygdala is key in discriminating bipolar disorder from major depressive disorder. A study conducted by Almeida et al. Healthy and type 1 bipolar disorder subjects participated in three separate neuroimaging event-related experiments, where they viewed mild and intense emotional and neutral faces of fear, happiness, or sadness from a standardized series. 
They found abnormally elevated left amygdala activity to mild sad and neutral faces, which might be a depression-specific marker in bipolar disorder, but not major depressive disorder, suggesting different pathophysiological processes for bipolar disorder versus major depressive disorder depression. We hope you enjoyed the journey to learn about the neuroanatomy, functionality, and research on the amygdala.